and welcome to Stop Now, a social experiment where we stop, listen, and share. I am Nate, and I am joined by a great group of folks today to uh, give you guys an update on uh, something that we've been doing here for a while at Stop Now. Uh, so I'm excited to get some uh, updates on this experiment. But before we do that, I also always have to uh, bring in the man in the mask, the voice of the voiceless, uh, JK. JK, how are you this week? Hi, Nate. You always have to unmask me <laughs> before we uh, do anything. And uh, certainly, I'm so excited and happy to do this episode since it's been a long journey for us and our entire crew and team, new members have joined on this. And it's going to be our uh, experimental lab show. What our team has been doing on the experiment, the social experiment, where we wanted to stop, listen, and share those stories. And you always put it right, better than me. And Shiva is also back. Yes. Welcome, Shiva. Yes, thank you, JK. Yeah, I'm back like for a long time. Okay, uh, we yeah. thank you so much and uh, for volunteering and providing the support and uh, hopefully everything is uh, welcome back and uh, this is a great experiment. We can talk about that, Nate, uh, by welcoming Amar and Partho. Amar has been doing it like for uh, two, three weeks as Nate, you know that with your permission. <laughs> And Partho also volunteered and he has jumped in blindfolded without knowing. So we have given him a fancy name. He might also wear a mask from now. He's called as Peter Parker. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> For a week, like I have uh, supervised them, like uh, Amar and Partho. They have mm. done a good job. Here, yeah, like Amar have done a very good job. Like uh, maybe he'll get a job very soon like he had a team call or anything like maybe next week he had a good job <laughs> and was starting like uh from last week maybe he also very fast learner and maybe he do very very fast and on the week he'll get a job <laughs> it's over to amar amar you can uh, explain what you've done on last week Yes, I already have uh, had dealt more than 200 emails. Yes. And I got uh, everyone's response and uh, they, once, they asked me to share uh, my details like resuming and personal details like uh, current location, contact details, uh, feature status and so many. I replied to all of the mails and I got their response already uh, we are in the way of interview, to interview that will be held this week, next week, I mean. So that's all. And, and Amar, was there any uh, anything that you weren't, weren't expecting with this experiment so far? Uh, has there been any surprises? Has there been anything that maybe you didn't know before you started, you know, uh, being Nate uh, for this experiment? Yes. Actually, I uh, still uh, be aware that uh, how they can hire me and, and their project in this way, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So is this, the, is, is, is this the correct way or not? I actually don't understand yet. Uh, and I am waiting to get the job. Uh, I, let's see. So... I will be grateful if I got a, a, get a job in this way. Uh, that's my aim, actually. So sometimes they want to share our LinkedIn profile, uh, LinkedIn link, like uh, mm -hmm. uh, Skype, Skype ID. So they always told us that uh, it's compulsory, it's compulsory. They sent again and again mails uh, to get the link, Skype ID, etc. But I always provide their and my year has told me. So, are you interested to share their uh, share your LinkedIn ID or 
describe what it to them Nate, just to give you a context right mm-hmm. so what he has done so far and uh, sharing it with you and he wanted to ask some specific questions to you uh, in terms of even on uh, a weekend right you are a busy yeah. man <laughs> that's why i called you boss Nate. <laughs> so you just get emails all the time yes and as uh, amar was mentioning right so he just responded to more than 200 emails in the last weeks mm. so that's like uh amazing job hunt i would say yeah. and in that like uh, you can see that without any of your documents right since you are in a special category of us citizen yeah yeah and without providing any id proof or without providing any documents or your social security or anything else we got an interview for you coming tuesday and it's going to be a video interview i don't know who's going to give that <laughs> <laughs> so that's a, a good effort and yeah. so his point as he mentioned right all the people right they just want to uh, even validate your uh, identification asking for self identification fill this form and uh, as usual share your resume and also asking what is the rate expectation mm-hmm. and i know like they just give a wonderful job like by saying oh i am super experienced and i need like more than uh, 140k or 150k per annum and or 80 dollars per something like that like they are playing it around uh well played and even with missed calls right so you can see like n number of missed calls as well as mm-hmm. voicemails they keep leaving voicemails and let's play this out like blank voicemails i need to talk to my friend please do reach me out this is regarding other or technical project manager would you please you just uh can you do me job i hope we will some are blank mm-hmm. again all these calls right amar i want you to explain right rather than me uh, what was your uh, experience in terms of playing out as nate because you don't sound like nate and i know that like you are even i don't have to use that word but you are literally scared to shit like i don't know what to say of this <laughs> what am i supposed to talk to these people but still he pulled mm. his uh, all his strength and uh, spoke to them and almost everybody was from india correct me if i'm wrong is that right yes correct correct yes mm. that is the journey he had and uh, also i think uh, one of the thing that uh, need for you to answer to this because he wanted to know that uh they did uh, i think uh let me search for that uh, yeah we we did had a couple of interviews and okay. i tried to clear some of it for you and they did asked again the cognizant companies uh, getting trapped on all these things mm-hmm. so uh, the question is like uh, what amar asked i wanted to dwell on that that is they want to uh, see your linkedin id so it's mandatory mm-hmm. if you don't have a linkedin id that recruiter has given an option saying that like why don't you create a linkedin id and share that mm-hmm. for submitting your profile they are asking your linkedin id and also one other recruiter they asked to share your uh, photo id driver's license or a state id and so yes. that was the question like amar uh, is that what amar you are referring to he wanted to know like whether neat is willing to share that because those are the roadblocks he is facing mm-hmm. uh, for you to get the job offer which others got in the past even shiva was lucky enough uh, i know that like uh, he just came back and he said like okay i will also take part in this rather than just yeah. being um, 
a guide to Patho and Amar to do this experiment, I will also take part. And I told him like either he can use his original profile or mine. And within a week, we just submitted it like, and I just gave an interview, which everybody saw that Amar mm. and uh, Patho as well. We did yesterday and he got an offer already. So we don't know in the next 10 days, he might get onboarded to that. Mm -hmm. um, so Shiva, what do you have to say about that? Because you know that. So you have been uh, in this before, but this is the shortest span of time where you got the offer. Yes, even I, I didn't settle out like uh, within a two, three days, you have uh, given an interview and we got a job. And really, I surprised how to do a job of some third second. This is the latest third second. Want to join? I'm really happy. Like, uh, we'll mm. do it. So the experiment is progressing uh, quite uh, intense, Nate. That is the update. And anyone who joins us, uh, who are willing to volunteer on this experiment they will get placed within four weeks. That's for sure. I can guarantee on that. But to Amar's question, what do you have to say, Nate? Yeah, we can definitely uh, do the uh, LinkedIn link. Uh, not, I'm not 100% sure on my driver's license because I'm not, <laughs> what information are they looking for in particular? Just the uh, picture? Yes, that's okay. it. Yeah. So they just want to, uh, if we ask, yeah. Even with the Shiva, like uh, if, uh, saying that like he's a green card holder, mm. immediately say that like uh, share the green card copy. Okay. And we don't want to do that. And for that, like they say, like we need to look at the photo and uh, the validity. You can uh, like hide the other thing, black out. Okay. So I had an intense debate with them on some of that. Like I, yeah. I would like to play that out as well. Saying that, like, what is the logic in it? Like, if I'm hiding something <laughs> and sharing it, that doesn't make sense. But still, they said, like, big billion-dollar companies are insisting to mm. take the profile to the next stage of client interview. They are insisting this third-party vendor kind of uh, companies to do these kind of illegal activities of verifying the ID and right. asking all the documents, which is... So, Absolutely, I'm certain that it's illegal to do it without offering a job, right? Mm -hmm. But they are doing that. So on that front, Amar did a very excellent job. I don't know how to appreciate him on that. He tracked down the entire list of how many companies he has been uh, uh, working on. Is that right, Amar? Yes, yes. Already, I listed about uh, more than 120. Oh, wow. Yes. OK, so here we go, right? So you mm -hmm. can see that uh, all these companies are US-based companies. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So all they have listed is a US address and the US and telephone address. number. A number, yes. And an official email ID. And all the recruiters are either sitting in India somewhere, like, right? Uh, I don't know where, in which place. Mm -hmm. So this is just a glimpse, like tip of the iceberg kind of thing. There are thousands of companies, yeah, which yeah. certainly we are not able to handle. And it's too much of volume. So you did answer, Nate. So you are okay to share that ID. And we can yeah. try to see if you are able to get a job offer. Or not. So that's the uh, whole intention of uh, the experiment. And with Shiva's case, like uh, he has already got an offer. We will see like how he gets onboarded, like how Cole had difficulty in getting onboarded mm -hmm. because of the drug screening. He was not able to join in one right. point. And the other one, he even, we tried to even, <laughs> I don't know how he forced the drug test. He got cleared with that and he was given a date to join, mm -hmm. but he backed out, right? Refusing to join, saying that, like, okay, I'm not going to do this. He even didn't he even have access to the job portal, like yes. in the website for yes. a while. 
yeah he had an access to it and it was active even after he declined to join for almost a month oh wow he was active and they didn't uh, because he was a us citizen that was the case but i i'm not sure like we can focus on uh, others like i don't know what is going to happen with shiva with the green card profile mm-hmm. and also with peter let's move on to peter that will be more fun <laughs> peter we kept you yes. uh, at bay like yes, for quite some time like go ahead yeah. how was your experience good good because uh, i am i starting this experiment uh, just few just few days and i replied some email and uh, just uh, three or four three or four uh, phone calls and if you send me my experience it's good not bad mm. and i i want to this experiment more that's a good start bartha you are uh, spirited and you are excited to do it i know you, <laughs> you guys are young and you wanted to do this but we are not ready for this the minute we shared his profile but, but i think, think when, but i think when, when uh, they uh, uh, saw me in video call they cannot give me this uh, offer <laughs> true that's true right so the, the experiment the social experiment is from the uh, based on true stories mm-hmm. shared by the victims right it's not something like we are faking it all together right what is happening in the ground in reality in us like as an uh, immigrant as a non immigrant h1b visa holders all college students who are coming from different parts of the world i'm not focusing on india alone it can be anywhere right mm-hmm. people who are wealthy enough to spend 50000 100000 in the us universities to get graduation or do masters and research degree they end up in this trap of to stay in this country and get a better life or job nobody wants to do a masters without getting benefit out of it right so i'm just have a fancy i just want to get a degree mm-hmm. and spend some 100000 dollar and go back to my country right is that a logic it's no brainer nobody will do that and that's why like even youngsters like you are able to get the job right by faking a profile of 10 years experience they are 20 years old how did they get like a 10 years experience and even in this case mm-hmm. right this recruiter the girl she doesn't even looked at your profile you don't have even more than 7 years experience and they are ready to offer you 120k per annum i bet this will not work out at all but if it works it's a miracle that's all i can say just within few days we just got like you just sent a couple of emails and you just started the experiment and one other guy this was very funny thing like uh we had proof on even big billion dollar companies including apple but we haven't uh, had an opportunity to target google so far but i'm sorry to say like this was the first time i even got for the google end client this recruiter is reaching out but they are just providing 30 dollars per hour, which is unbelievable in mm-hmm. google a project manager will not get less than 150 dollars per hour mm-hmm. i don't know what profit margin they keep or how many layers in that but mm-hmm. um, part of peter parker you did a good job <laughs> he said like i'm not comfortable with this rate can he do it for 80 dollars <laughs> that was a fun <laughs> so he has guaranteed like 100% interview and mm. I, i just wanted to volunteer man like this is the first time nate i am uh, seeing a google interview hopefully i will try to uh, take part in this if it goes through we will have a field day <laughs> yeah Um, but then the the problem is google is our partner uh, sponsor and for our non profit they are giving 10000 dollars for google ad grants so for that reason i don't want to target google 
but still yeah we have to play fair right even if uh, so that that way like i just uh, don't want like to limit it to any companies mm-hmm. and that's the thing jk like everybody's involved in this you know it's any big company you can think of they're most likely involved in this and so yeah you know we we appreciate google uh and their support but you know what's right is right and what's fair is fair as you're saying See, the whole point uh again uh, Nate, we uh, debated with uh, attorneys and different uh, experts on that mm-hmm. even herald and the rule of law is very clear on that that they are in the specialty occupation and they are brought in for one simple reason that there is no talent available here in the us population mm-hmm. that's why they are brought in and they have to be treated fair and square and they have to be offered the same salary as even more than that for uh, the h1b visa holder which means the companies are taking on oath that they put an effort and they were not able to recruit or hire any us citizen with for that job and it's not the truth right they always try to manipulate that providing the uh, i don't know the lowest possible from the department of labor uh, statistics for that particular location get that and pay that as the salary for the h1b candidates and here there are many layers involved and that is where the culpability cannot be assigned to even here google and apple will say like oh yep we don't know that we just contracted it to big billion dollar companies like cognizant tata consultancy and uh, wipro and big names and who is going to take them to the court and even the us agencies right we even try to uh, report on some of the cases and they are not able to take any stand on that they are not going to investigate big billion dollar companies i don't know why they refuse it because the department of justice they are all focused on the political big games hmm. yeah. so that's these are small fish right Mm-hmm. so that's why like they just ignore it like okay these are small time pickpocket crime kind of thing you guys go have a field day like do whatever you want to unless somebody has the resources and money to sue somebody mm-hmm. this is not going to go to the court it's not going to have a trial that's why we are trying to do this social experiment and make it as we said right if it's the fault of the google we are putting it in the google platform itself in youtube yep and we have become a youtube partner and if it becomes popular and more people around the world they comment on this and they make fun about it definitely they will get the attention and google will realize that okay we need to have a proper screening of our vendors because mm-hmm. if the vendors are doing bad shit on the back just like we all know that right how apple is using the china as the manufacturing unit and what happens in china nobody knows right how human right violations and how uh, correct me if i'm wrong amar and partho you both know very well about your country bangladesh just because i'm not saying it's a poor there are sweatshops and human right violations are more over there exploiting no, no, no. the human labor no no it's right it's right yeah uh, so the younger generation agree to it right so they are not denying that mm-hmm. but the politicians and uh, the people at the authority level they will deny they say like oh my country is doing good we don't have any issues we are a developing nation like they will say that like if we throw at them saying that like okay you guys are doing all fraudulent things sitting in india mm-hmm. all night it's a shameful thing why do you have to do this but if we look at their problems we will not be able to 
i'm not attacking them right we just have to sympathize right because they they need some kind of job and it's highly populated they mm-hmm. don't have opportunities anyone who says like anything like you do this i'll pay you they are ready to do it whether it's day or night it's a big money for them like many of the recruiters have committed that like saying that all night we sit and do this this is our full time job they even go to the office and do this and they just get like 200 300 dollars that's it in a month that's not a big money but still for them it's a livelihood so that's where like it gets tricky if we over simplify these things and sympathize and say like okay this is right you this is not our, about right or wrong mm-hmm. you go ahead then where do we draw the line in our society right how do we stop injustices because that leads to the human trafficking angle right people are trapped here just because somebody has to live somewhere you are trapping some portion of the people who are here as slaves and they are forced to live under hard conditions so mm-hmm. i don't know how to it, it's not simple math or something like we can provide a solution to it no so we want all the resources like all the people to join us and provide us a solution if you have a solution please <laughs> join us and let us know and that's all i can say about this like and with that like we so, will- real quick jk i w- i do want to say like i think the first step is kind of what we're doing here you know whether we're telling the victims side of the stories or you know when we uh sit down and speak with harold you know and and hear his story and about what he came through and doing the experiment you know with uh partho and amar and, and shiva uh, and we did it with you know cole and and savita and and so many others i think awareness is kind of a first step because there's a lot of people that don't even know this is going on jk uh and so yeah like this is the first step but it's not the last step you know it it's got to be more it's got to be more people committed to bringing this to light and to finding uh the answer yeah absolutely net uh you, you are right on that so it's it looks like a long journey mm-hmm. and we are taking a very very baby step kind of thing because we don't have the resources and we don't have any support or budget except for uh, one or two sponsors who appreciate our work and they are pushing us to do this and yeah, as you said right many people don't know about this bringing in awareness and educating them that mm-hmm. this kind of crime is happening why i call this as a crime is like because a 20 year old if he justifies that like to get a job in a foreign land he can fake his resume and somehow it's a survival game survival of the fittest they use this all the time as a jungle rule when they justify that at the end age they will justify every other crime at a later stage mm. yeah right when they grow older when they desperately need to support their family they will say like i can do whatever i want that's how like the politicians and everybody gets corrupt so we have to take a stand on that and i don't know how to stop this really i don't know that and most people those who knowingly do this they are blind to it saying that like it's okay it's okay right because for me to survive it's okay mm-hmm. but it's not okay as a social norm we have to as a civilized civilization progress can happen only by addressing these small small things right it's not just small small things but it impacts it it is interconnected everybody is interconnected in that and that's why like the big companies have to take responsibility they have the control with the advancement in technology we can easily curtail these problems right we can easily screen the candidates in a proper way in a legal way Mm-hmm. and try to at least try to put an effort to minimize this kind of thing happening 
and i don't think like it's a big uh, ground work like jk like uh, because of the they giving a like uh, what to say like uh, also see for each company to employ a, a manpower or something because of like when they take their direct company staff they will they want to provide all the facilities and after a few years uh, the employee will form a group and they fight for their uh, benefit and other thing that's why every company giving outsourcing and the outsourcing company like uh, uh, taking a minimum of uh, guarantees for their job or something like it, it doesn't happening like you know particular uh, society it's all over all in the world like uh, it's a social problem hmm. sort of individual, individual problem uh, jobless or something it's a social crime we all know but it's an initial stage we want to fight we have a four to five hand with us let me start with the initial thing so the question to uh, the team uh, yeah. so where do we stop how far can we go it's an it depend on individual like uh, if i am right i don't want to do any crime against anything like i want to live in a great society then i i need to change myself mm mm-hmm. that's the only way every each and every one should change themselves that's the thing we can't force anybody to change or a society to change it that's my point like you can go with amar or pato i think uh, people awareness is the first point to solve this problem uh, then uh, so that the government every country the government should take proper steps it's a global problem maybe i think so globally we should uh, face this challenge to solve it it's uh, not sense awareness it's the it's the times pato do you have any thoughts any comments because you are the volunteer and you are the guinea pig <laughs> Yes, uh, in my opinion, uh, when uh, someone uh, 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 doing uh, any job in a city or uh, other site, uh, it should be awareness, uh, should be uh, that, uh, no all details, uh, it solves some problem. we had a technical glitch over there or is it uh, uh, peter parker to go yes it's all about like i think it's all about uh, great civilization like a uh, new gen generation like uh, in this investigation yeah. like what are the thing in my new electronic device gadgets and uh, so, so total world i have become a consuming world so each and every person want to consume uh, each and every product like electronic goods or any other goods and they need money whatever way like whichever way they need to consume any uh, mobile or any other gadgets a lot of things is there science have corrupted all the human mind it's all civilization problem science have corrupted totally uh, do a crime whatever you can do and enjoy your life that's the only way that's a problem it's all like a, going in humanity it's all philosophical thing it will go on and go on it's only based on the civilization we are modern we think modern but there is no civilization yes right now uh, yeah, if you see that uh, right now yeah yes if you see that uh, right now i am uh, doing my uh, graduation and when i complete my graduation i am trying to uh, doing some work and uh, doing some uh, goods company but if i am um, uh, uh, if i have not uh, enough knowledge about this um, i can follow with them i think we are having some technical difficulties partho uh, uh, getting your audio it's not that clear but anyway like 
uh, I got the gist of it, like what you are saying, right? After your graduation, you need a job and you have to do what the company is asking you to do. So that's exactly what the recruiters are also doing it. As a part of our experiment, we were planning to uh, do that as well. And like uh, just uh, look for some volunteering company which can mimic this uh, model of how they are employing the recruiters and how they are making money out of it. How does this outsourcing business itself has become a, a questionable thing, right? So that is the major problem. Outsourcing is not bad, but then how you do it in a dignified manner, right? Because of the volume, it has become like this. And I can also outsource my interview, right? Giving interview, I can outsource it. What's wrong in that? And uh, just like Nate, uh, Nate volunteered saying that, okay, you take my profile, just do whatever you want with it and get me a job. And yeah, again, personal outsourcing. <laughs> yeah, it's like I have uh, another person on my behalf. I'm outsourcing. He will be working on my behalf and you pay me. We will split it. <laughs> split the share or take commission out of it. That's also justifiable, yeah. right? Nobody yeah. can question, right? Some of them, like even they say like, oh, many people are faking the interviews and they are doing all these things. What is wrong? That is where we will become a lawless country and lawless land. Like everywhere, like people can do whatever they want. That is not proper way to progress. That's why like I'm still struggling. I don't want to bring in all that encompasses life and talking philosophy about it. Mm -hmm. That's not going to go anywhere. Anything like that, we go into the court of law, right? Based on that particular case, what is the acquisition? How you are going to prove that and how you are going to deny that? That's it. You cannot talk outside of it. Just because others are committing crime, I am allowed to uh, commit crime is not an admissible argument. Everybody does that. Everybody does that. And that is where we are having uh, conflicts and trouble with others, even in communicating it. Like, so domestic violence, child abuse, everything happens in the bigger problems of human trafficking which is being simplified saying that like, oh, it's, is it a labor trafficking or is it a sex trafficking? Mm -hmm. Whatever that is, treating the other person in the wrong way is the starting point. But let's not go too far onto that, but let's limit to our experiment and see how we are going to address these issues. And uh, to wind up our session today, I would like to have some final comments and thoughts. And also, Nate, we were planning to launch this experiment lab as a continuous uh, talk show kind of thing. Like we will publish these videos. Okay. Um, these things have sensitive information and uh, we are recording the conversation without the consent of their recruiters. And though they are doing their job, sitting somewhere in the other side of the world, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, asking them personal questions and recording that and publishing it, how it, I don't know, it, uh, we, we don't have a legal right or something, but still as an investigative uh, piece, as an undercover operation for the social good, we are doing this experiment. So I want to make sure we publish it in our uh, secured uh, domain where uh, only people who join us as a member subscribe mm -hmm. and pay <laughs> to us to watch those videos. So we are planning for that. Like, I think I'm just asking even to the public, uh, is that the right way to do? Should we restrict it? To only to people who want to know this or just open it up like to everybody like all the world should know what are your thoughts i think uh first of all that uh, yeah i'm excited to see where the experiment goes I'm, I'm glad that you know 
uh, Shiva is back. I'm glad that, you know, we've got a mayor and we've got uh, uh, Partho, Peter Parker, uh, uh, on the experiment. I think that uh, in terms of the way we put it out, JK, um, I didn't think of, you know, putting it behind kind of a paywall uh, in terms of some of that sensitive information uh, from the interviews and, and things of that nature. Um, that's, that's a good question. <sighs> because part of me is like, maybe we should put that behind maybe a bit of a barrier, but also we do want the truth out there. You know, we, we want to be kind of transparent with our experiment and with what we find out. So uh, I guess, I guess my long answer uh, JK is, I don't know. Like that's a really good question that we should think about. <laughs> so I didn't really answer the question at all. Yes, you always dodge that. <laughs> you try to be diplomatic and uh, yes. not to give a straight answer. That's fine. Uh, most of us, like, we still struggle, as you put it, right? I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Even mm -hmm. Amar told the same thing. Am I going to get the job by doing like this? Mm -hmm. What the heck is happening, man? Like, I, I, I am, it's a story, right? It's, it's not reality. And that's why he volunteered saying that, okay, let me try this out. Mm -hmm. Is it really happening? Is this how like people get the job? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Like, if I'm going to get, let me also have some fun with this. So the problem here is unless we find someone attacking us saying that okay what you guys doing is wrong mm -hmm. and i'm going to sue you they are coming after us we can go public and we can publish everything mm -hmm. but why i take that stand as like to keep it a wall kind of thing and only exclusive membership or people who pay for mm -hmm. it anyone who spends a dollar and gives a dollar to me it's a great appreciation right for us like even to donating to our nonprofit mission mm -hmm. it's a great thing so when somebody does that they are serious about it and they will right. watch our videos yeah Bar Bartho can talk about it right there is so much of content over there it's a competition and we don't get views we try to boost it by doing different techniques youtube itself like this so tough and they play with their algorithm and how to get the attention of the people, mm -hmm. nonprofits fail. That's why like nonprofits are struggling so much to get some revenue to sustain. So that is why like I'm saying like we can debate about it, we can share our experience. All these videos are going to go public. Mm -hmm. But what I am saying is like for example, if I am mimicking you, you have an interview coming up, video interview next Tuesday night, and definitely you're not going to give, right? For example, if I am going to give mm -hmm. and I'm going to show my face and say that, take that risk of saying, faking that I'm Nate and yeah. getting that interview. And if I post that out in the public, I will be in trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why like, I'm trying to yeah. put myself and if I am trying to do this experiment and uh, for the sake of victims, I'm wearing this mask. So the same way, if we do that, like again, we edit that and hide my face and mm -hmm. publish that, but still my voice is going to be there. Or we can recreate that. like So it will entirely mm -hmm. become as a fake video itself. The trustable... Uh, thing will not be there. Right. That's why like I want to put those very sensitive interview uh, and uh, job offers and anything that is related mm -hmm. to disclose the complete identity of our team members. I want to keep that under the wall. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good point because I think another thing you just said uh, real quick, JK, is for the person watching, if, you know, even if it's just like a dollar or two dollars or five dollars whatever it is uh that shows a level of commitment to the person watching the video that you know if i'm gonna spend a little bit of money on this 
it's something I'm I'm gonna take seriously. It's not just some YouTube clip I can just watch and turn off and while I'm scrolling on my phone. Uh, so I do think there's a level of engagement with the audience with that. If they're gonna pay, you know, whatever the amount yeah, is to be a thing, member. One thing is like, one thing is, like uh, if, was, uh, if I pay for it and watch a video, mm -hmm. but I, uh, if I don't like it or something, same as if I go for a movie and pay it for it, if I doesn't like it, I couldn't comment uh, directly to a director or something. Here, I can comment or I, I can hate it or I can mm -hmm. consider it. Why you are doing this? I don't want it. It's the crime. Uh, I don't want to involve on the crime and uh, become as a member of your side. They will fight for it. Mm -hmm. That is a two way. Like, uh, JK, just say it, it won't be like if I pay for two or one dollar, I will start questioning you what the video is. I don't want it. I pay it like and uh, it's a nonsense video. They like a member will ask. That's the thing. What you what, what will you answer for it? If I pay it and watch it, if good I question. doesn't like it. Good question, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Shiva, I, I really appreciate that, right? Our team members, as a team, we have to brainstorm and come up with a solution. Mm -hmm. And asking these questions, I really appreciate that. See, we are not selling a product. It's not like for the consumers, right? You feel like, oh, you are happy yeah. about it. Yeah, that's, that's the same thing. Like, it's a movie kind of, it's a movie kind Hold of. Or any... Hold on. Hold on. I'll answer your question, right? And then uh, counter question me. Like, uh, the thing is, to your example, if they watch the movie and mm -hmm. if they don't like it, they can review, they can put comment. And that's how like uh, movies are being uh, underrated. Critics are there and movies flop. Uh, audience uh, give bad reviews and all those things are there. Like every industry, they are taking that risk. And even in a Uber ride, right? Just for five minutes, you ride in a car and you rate the drivers, mm -hmm. right? And it impacts them. If they have a low score, they cannot drive in that platform anymore. So the feedback mechanism has that power. I agree. And for us, we are a non-profit, we are accepting it as a donation, right? As a member, they are free to quit our platform, right? If they don't like our videos, they can dispute, as you said, right? They can comment, right? This is a crime. This is not good. You guys are doing bad. We are going to justify saying that we are conducting this social experiment. This is what is happening in reality. You are finding this as a fault. You tell us how to stop it. So you are a member, you are a paid member. We are welcome your suggestions and feedback. If you have any ideas to stop it, we have even reported to the authorities to take action. They are not doing it. What are we supposed to do? Are you willing to fund us to uh, file a case on these N number of companies, right? Are you willing to pay us $10,000 to hire an attorney to go after anyone else, they will shut up then. It's not about $1, right? If they don't like it, like they can say like, oh, fine, you, it's a membership, right? Uh, you pay for a month and then if you don't like, don't pay, quit, quit the subscription. Does that answer your question? Yeah, yeah, okay. That's, that's the reason, right? So I wanted to conclude and share this as well. Mm -hmm. uh, right now it's being recorded and uh, we have reached this stage again kudos to Parto and good effort yeah. we have this option because of uh, being a YouTube channel partner now people can join us if they are joining our channel a monthly subscription of one dollar that is 99 cents is available and those who join will get discounted merchandise Nate, mm. I am looking for your T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I hold on. I have my T-shirt. Keep talking, J.K. So people will get like discounted uh, tax-free, or uh, for a discounted price, they'll get a uh, T-shirt, mm. cap, mm -hmm. uh, coffee mugs, and all those are stop now branded products for 
lesser price if they join us as a member. So just a dollar, it's not a big amount. And that's why like I want to keep that uh, option and make people join our channel. <laughs> uh, that, that was dramatic. Here's the thing, JK. I just realized my T-shirt is in the washing machine because I wanted to wear it today. Uh, but I woke up late, so I didn't have time to dry my T-shirt. So next next week, I'll have my T-shirt. That's a that's a tease for next week. <laughs> All right. I, I accept your uh, challenge, and we will uh, see. But yes, we do have a wonderful Stop Now T-shirts available. Yeah, one thing like Jake, like uh, next week we'll have another new uh, guy who joining with us. Oh, from India, yeah. Wonderful. Uh, thank you, Shiva. I I need more people. Uh, more volunteers are welcome to join, and uh, please like and subscribe to our channel, and comment as much. Even negative comments are welcome. <laughs> we we are open platform. We just want to create some impact and how our society functions and how this experiment will change the future for a betterment of everyone. Bye for now. Yes, bye. Thank you, yes. thank you, Shiva. Thank you, Nate. Thank you, JK. Yes. Bye, Nate. See you again. Good, good to see you. Good to see everybody. Uh, good to yeah. see you back, Shiva. Uh, uh, yes. Thank you all for watching. Yes. Bye for now. <laughs>